JewishHistory.org presents Rabbi Beryl Wine's 5,000 Years of Jewish History. One video clip at a time. Clip number 35 Mysticism and Kabbalah. Maimonides and Rashi, and in fact the Talmud itself, posited it a natural world, rational world. We don't find the supernatural invading much of Judaism according to their ideas and commentaries. However, there is always a mystical world, a mysterious world, that also accompanies everything in Judaism. It's known by its popular name, Kabbalah, which means tradition, received knowledge. And uh, it always existed, but it did not exist publicly, meaning it was there were no books on it. It was kept within an inner circle of certain chosen scholars. Beginning in the 13th and 14th centuries, Kabbalah becomes more public, and Jews are now exposed to a more mystical and mysterious world. I think part of the reason is because the rational world really makes little sense. Why should all of these crazy things happen to us? And especially in the Jewish world. So therefore we have to search for an answer beyond the rational. And therefore Kabbalah fills this void for Jews. And in our time it fills it to even for the non-Jewish world. There are many in the non-Jewish world are interested in Kabbalah. In the commentary to the Bible of Rabbi Moshe ben Nachman, Ramban, who is 13th century Barcelona, he already has an entire section of his commentary which he calls secret, or he calls it the way of the ultimate truth, which is basically supernatural, mysterious, Kabbalistic. Another commentary from Rabbi Bachia, also of Spain, also has a section devoted to the mysterious, hidden, mystical interpretations of the verses of the Torah. In the 15th century, a man by the name of Moses de Leon published a book called Zohar. Zohar, he attributed it to the third century scholar, Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai. Zohar became the basic book of Kabbalah, written in Aramaic in the dialect of the Palestinian Aramaic of the third century and it contained the basis for all later works of Kabbalah, even though the later works would diverge from it to a great extent. So we are now entering a period in Jewish history where the mystical and mysterious is a co-equal to the rational, intelligent, knowledgeable parts of the Torah. My name is Beryl Wine. I thank you for watching. For more on Jewish history, go to jewishhistory.org.